At the unveiling of the restored lover's statue outside the Staff of Life pub, All You Need Is Love playing by the Beatles, Margaret lingered once again. The golden couple married at the pelvis, giant limbs restructured, fibreglass skin resprayed. There was a time Margaret wore rollers beneath her headscarf at the pickled onion factory behind Ford of Britain. Her nan and mam over the other side of the Don at Crompton Parkinson's, swapping radio batteries for .303 rifle ammunition, then fluorescent tubes. After her Friday shift, Brenda splashed out on cheap as chips cod at Doncaster Market, served by Leslie, daubed in sky blue eyeshadow. Yeah, right, my love. Elsie's grandkiddies scrubbed up nice while she minded them on Saturdays at Greyfriars Baths, changing them in poolside cubicles, all their worldly goods in one wire basket. Her youngest, Wendy, on overtime at Brindon Ropes, their cables still lowering men down shafts. That man-riding accident at Bentley Pit. The seven lads who never came back. While at Pegler, Kevin Keegan began to make a name for himself. And across Doncaster Car, the travellers and gypsies pitched up with the wily hares and kingfisher flits, while the filthy rich lorded it over in NCB's coal house, and plant apprentices escaped at snap time in packs. Young and fit and sweet with sweat and engine oil, green overall sleeves tied round their waists, eyeing the typists on lunch breaks who breathed into pencil skirts at Chelsea Gill, then a quick shop at Hillard's before they all clocked back on. Town's always chucker, buses stuck in traffic, rovers playing Barnsley FC or Ledger Week Fair, spinning bolsters and gobsmacked goldfish, or that air show malarkey at Finningley. Going round Donny Town Saturday? Lager. Lager and lime. Lager and black. Lager bitter. Lambert and Butler. The white bear. The old volunteer. The Yorkist. King's Head. Nag's Head. Main Line. Romeo and Juliet's. Real Ale at the Hallcross. Bikers and Beetham's. The Bistro. For a friend of a friend's wedding. Brandy and Baby Sham on special occasions. A curry at the Indus. Good evening, ladies. And inside, the Arndale. An 18-year-old girl, waiting for her boyfriend beneath the lovers. Like birds in a cage, water streaming down gilded wires, fingertips reaching for the sky. How their fibreglass feet were shattered by the lump hammer. How they were rocked and ripped away by developers, then salvaged for a backhander and planted like an autumn maple in a garden in Bessica and forgotten. Till now, outside Waterdale, limbs splayed, bodies still joined at the hip in an X, heads flung back, the sky grinding across them, and the model villages, and the churches selling carpets, and the factories turned call centres, the schoolyards, the ginnels, the smokeless chimneys, and beneath them, beneath all that, those lost men, and all that blackness still down there. 